これでどうでしょうじゃあこれいいです。はい。じゃあお願いします。はい。わかりました。OK、uh,、sorry for,、uh, you know,、uh, reaching waiting for a long time.、Uh, let me、uh, introduce Professor Hosono.、Uh, he、uh, was born in、uh, September in 1953. And he got a degree in Tokyo Metropolitan University. And、uh, he spent his young age in Nagoya Institute of Technology, then moved to、uh, Tokyo Institute of Technology at the age of 44 or 45. Then he started a big project in Japan, so called JST Erato. And he made a tremendous、uh, success in this project, including P type oxides and the、uh, exhaust and the other things. Then he re formally retired from Tokyo Institute of Technology last year, but、uh, Tokyo Institute of Technology kindly、uh, you know, kept him for 10 years to do more research. So he is a, a very special distinguished professor in Tokyo Tech and still doing、uh, research. And the, his、uh, major recognition is uh, something uh, let me uh, uh, tell you for example. McGrody Prize in New Materials in American Physical Society, Japan Academy Award in both、uh, 2015, and next year, 2016, he got the so called the Japan Prize. Then, 2018, he got the f o r m h i p p e r Award in, of MRS. So, he is a quite famous、uh, professor in Japan, and not only in Japan, but also worldwide. And probably he can tell us on his、uh, achievement in oxide semiconductors, electrolytes, and、uh, ion based superconductors. Professor Hosono, please.、Uh, thank you, Kawasaki san.、Uh, uh, sorry for waiting. So, that's,、uh, yeah, the title of the, my、uh, lecture is uh, uh, Three、uh, Topics Electrolyte, Oxide Semiconductor, and Ion Based Superconductors.、Uh, my affiliation is the Tokyo Tech. And、uh, it's I belong to、uh, the Material Research Center for Element Strategy, so called MSS. So, yeah, this is a building of the MSS, our building, and, and this is a periodic table. So, the construction of, of the, this building is quite unique. So, the, how many elements、uh, in the periodic table in a row? Okay, 18. Okay, as the number of the window of the, our building is 18. My office is located to the almost the location of the iron. I love iron so much. Okay, so that the、uh, past 25 years,、uh, our group h a v e concentrated on the cultivation of a n o v e l e c t r a c t i v e function、uh, in the material. So the, this is my As own goal, three beyond. One is uh, uh, to find, uh, uh, to create a、uh, novel amorphous semiconductor、uh, beyond the amorphous hydrogenase silicon,、uh, which was、uh, so、created in 1975 by Speer and、uh, Peter l u c o m b o Okay, so the most of the,、uh, your display. Are driven by amorphous silicon and、uh, hydrogen silicon TFT.、Uh, so, my dream was、uh, to kick out the amorphous silicon in the world. So, the, this dream is almost、uh, so、come true. So, the, I will show that uh, uh, so our material,、uh, which exceeds the amorphous silicon TFT, as、uh, people call the exo. The second is a new superconductor、uh, so、beyond the Q plate. Uh, of course, you know that uh, this uh, cuprate superconductor was discovered in 1986, more than、uh, 35, uh, almost 35 years.、Uh, we would like to, uh, uh, to create a, a new super, totally new class of superconductors、uh, beyond the cuprate. This is quite difficult, still、uh, on the way. But、uh, I will show that the ion based superconductor,、uh, which in a sense exceeds the、uh, uh, science of the Q plate. The last one is now I'm now strongly involved、uh, um, in this,、uh, on this subject catalyst for ammonia synthesis. 
about almost more than 100 years ago, and uh, how a voice process uh, was developed uh, to synthesize ammonia uh, from hydrogen and uh, nitrogen. So the so-called Haber Bosch process is a uh, uh, triumph of the fundamental research in the material science uh, because that uh, invention of Haber Bosch process and uh, saves the human being from starving. Uh, this is very very uh, impressive you know, scientific history. But uh, uh, more than a hundred years, uh, this process. Uh, doesn't change. Uh, we'd like to create a new process as, uh, beyond the Haber-Bosch. Uh, Haber uh, this is as, as hard uh, as uh, my dream. So the, uh, in this talk, I'd show that uh, as, uh, as, uh, from this one, as uh, electrolyte. Electrolyte, uh, as, uh, cat electrolyte uh, lead to the catalyst for the uh, new, uh, for the new um, uh, ammonia uh, synthesis, cat synthesis beyond the Haber Bosch process. And second is amorphous oxide semiconductor. Oxide semiconductor. Uh, last one is the uh, iron based superconductor. The iron based superconductor is uh, it's, uh, Wednesday's talk. Okay. And uh, this view graph uh, summarizes the highlight of the, my research past 25 years. So the modern is, uh, building are uh, based on the three key materials, grass, cement, and iron. So the, by chance, as uh, so my this uh, three achievement uh, were almost uh, so based on the same as uh, ingredient, grass, cement, and iron. So the uh, a kind of the grassy semiconductor uh, so work well as uh, as a active layer in the same film transistor. So now your iPad or a smartphone or the, especially the large size OLED TV are driven our exhaust thin film transistor. The, the last, this one is a pretty memorial picture for me because a, two, a couple of years ago at the time and the LG, president of the LG display visited our, our lab to uh, donates a uh, uh, product, 65 inches OLED TV, because that, uh, without uh, exo TFT, as a large size as uh, OLED TV was impossible to produce. Okay. The second uh, is a uh, uh, cement material. Of course, the cement material is the insulator, but uh, uh, almost 20 years ago, I found that uh, as uh, a kind of the cement material and can be converted into a semiconductor and as metals and eventually superconductors. And this material is quite interesting. And, and as, uh, when uh, as, uh, lucenium uh, nanoparticle was loaded on the surface of the uh, metallic conducting uh, cement material, uh, this material works as a pretty good catalyst for ammonia synthesis at mild condition. So the, the, uh, the most important thing is the concept of this material is the electrolyte. Electrolyte in the material uh, compound in which electron work as an anion, work as an anion. Okay, so that we extended the, this concept to uh, uh, ionic compound to the intermetallics. A kind of the intermetallic compound uh, Compound work as a, as a pretty good catalyst, and maybe the, uh, the next, uh, maybe the this uh, Thursday, uh, this Thursday, our uh, the next our uh, pretty good uh, concept of the catalyst will be uh, appear in the nature. And the last one is, is the iron. Of course, the iron is the last element, almost the last element uh, to imagine superconductivity because the iron has a pretty large magnetic moment. It's a magnetic moment, as a large magnetic moment is harmful uh, to induce a superconductivity. Uh, this is a kind of the uh, common sense. Uh, 
However, we have uh, found that the ion based superconductor, uh, the material is an ion oxynictite, okay, layered compound. So when the electron is doped, this material can be converted in the bulk superconductivities. Now, it's, uh, in a bulk form, as the ion based superconductor is the highest TC, except that as a cuplate. Okay, so that the uh, and so in this talk, and uh, I will show that the uh, uh, highlight of the, these, uh, this work. Okay, the first is the electrolyte. Yeah, this is the outline of the, uh, uh, this part. One is, uh, first is the phallic electrolyte. Uh, second is, uh, 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 this is a prototype of the electrolyte, C12S7, calcium aluminate. And, uh, and a third is amorphous C12 by seven. Fourth is a, uh, a new electrolyte. And this is totally uh, different from the previous one. One dimensional, uh, two dimensional, and the surface and the intermetallic. The last one is application. So the, we uh, apply the, these materials to the various, uh, uh, various uh, field. And here, but I'll show that I focus on uh, application uh, to catalysts for ammonia synthesis. Okay, so that, uh, do you know that uh, solvated electron as uh, the when uh, as uh, alkali metal sodium was, was dissolved in a liquid ammonia? What happens? You can see that the blue. And deep blue color uh, appears. Uh, this color is due to the formation of the solvated electron. What is the, the meaning of the solvated electron? Okay. A solvated electron is like this. Electron uh, is the center and the coordinated by six ammonium ammonia ions. Uh, so forming a hydrogen bonding. Uh, so the electron is confined in, in a, a cluster of the ammonia molecule so that the quantum confinement occurs. As a consequence, as uh, energy level is split and as blue, color, blue light is absorbed. Okay, and when uh, as uh, electron concentration is goes up, so the color is totally changed from deep blue to the almost gold. So the gold state shows that the metallic conduction, okay? But this is liquid, almost liquid metal. Also, but this discovery was also reported in the 19th century. Professor Humphrey Davy discovered this phenomenon, very old. Okay, so that the 1983, Professor James Dye of the, no, he's still alive, and he's a very a respectable scientist. And uh, he, what he is sought is uh, to crystallize a solvated electron in a salt, okay? But not so easy to uh, crystallize a solvated electron. What he did uh, was to use uh, and uh, crown ether, okay, crown ether. For example, so that, uh, yeah, please remember the case of the F center in the alkali halide. Okay, and each uh, chlorine is replaced by electron. The resulting material should be an uh, electron. But uh, such a material is, is impossible to be formed. Instead, uh, sodium metal is formed. So the how to suppress the recombination of the ionized electron uh, with cation is a key. That's why the Professor James Dye uh, utilized the crown ether. Crown ether is a cyclic ether, COH bond. Okay, the so crown ether has a very unique property, which uh, easily, selectively, uh, as cross, as make a crustate, uh, make a as crustate alkali cation uh, like, like this, or sandwich uh, a, a structure a complex is formed. So that if we regard it as this as complex as a as macro as a cation, but a huge size of the cation. When the huge size of the as a large size of the cation is closely packed, large size of the 
anion vacancy, a vacancy to be set for anion is created. Okay, so the electron is located in a such a uh, large, large crystalline void. As a consequence, and uh, crystal, crystal sort of the solvated electrons obtained in 1983. A very, very creative one. Okay, of, of course, at the time, there the no uh, applications. Okay, this is just a scientific and uh, curiosity. So when uh, so James Dice uh, uh, published this paper, uh, so this paper was attracted by uh, uh, attracted by uh, the attention of the many people as an exotic and uh, material. But uh, no, almost no application or was the detail of physical property uh, has been uh, reported. Uh, the, uh, the reason is quite simple. The material is extremely unsensitive to the air and temperature. When a, as a vacuum, when a, in a vacuum, as the temperature is, is, is goes up to the minus 50, as the sample is decomposed. Even in a liquid, uh, liquid nitrogen temperature, when the sample was exposed to the ambient atmosphere, so that the crystal is decomposed. By the action, uh, by the action with the water or the oxygen molecule. Okay. So that's how to synthesize the uh, synthesis of the room temperature stable uh, electrolyte was a long-standing issue uh, since the discovery of the electrolyte in 1983. Okay. Oh, okay. uh, this is a picture uh, uh, of the uh, James Dye. The, uh, so this uh, picture was uh, took at, at the Royal Society in 19, uh, 2014, six years ago. And uh, so this uh, so photo is, uh, this, this person is uh, uh, so Humphrey Davy and the so, uh, Royal Society professor now in the 18th centuries. Uh, this is a uh, light person, of course, as famous die. Okay, so that uh, this is a memorial picture for me. Okay, and uh, tw 20, uh, 20 or 2003, maybe, uh, 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 maybe 2003, uh, we uh, succeeded in synthesizing the first room temperature stable electron. So the host material is a C12 7 CaO aluminum oxide. Okay, looks very, looks very boring material. Of course, that uh, uh, this is a, uh, a kind of the uh, ingredient of the commercially available uh, aluminum cement. Of course, insulate. Okay, but uh, this crystal is quite interesting uh, properties. Uh, band gap is a seven AB as a cubic structure. There are twelve as uh, 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 unit cell has a, uh, such a chemical formula. So the important thing is, uh, uh, so this material is a uh, uh, so micro uh, polar structure. That is to say, there are 12 cages uh, in a unit cell. Okay, and so the, each and uh, well, this is the chemistry of the, uh, the unit cell. So the unit cell has a network structure has a positive charge. The sign of the uh, charge is very critical. Uh, please remember the case of the zeolite. Zeolite is a negatively charged. Okay, the negative charged material is so many, but the positively charged uh, the cage material is very very rare. So the C12. That's why I'm uh, focused on this material. Okay, so that the, uh, each cage is coordinated by uh, uh, 12 cages by sharing uh, as a mono mono layer oxide like this. Okay, so that the, the inner diameter of the uh, each cage is uh, uh, 44 angstrom, which is 50% uh, larger than the diameter of the O2 molecule. O2 molecule is seated uh, in a cage to keep electron neutrality. There are 12 cages in each cell. Yeah, the oxygen occupies two out of 12. 
So the occupancy of the auction iron is a one six. Remaining five over six empty. Okay, but uh, and the each cage is connected by sharing a very thin uh, layer of the, of the oxide. This crystal structure is very very unique. Okay, uh, and as uh, this auction, uh, people call the free auction, is loosely bounded. Okay, is uh, as a consequence, uh, so we can. My guess is uh, to ex to replace such a O double minus ion uh, from the cage and inject uh, as uh, unconventional ion, okay? H minus or the as or other minus ion. The, the extreme ion case should be an uh, electron. When uh, O2, O double minus is, is replaced by electrons, such a material should be an uh, electron. Okay, uh, so how to uh, prepare that electrolyte? So the, uh, we already have a variety of technique and the chemical and the physical technique. I'll show that the two examples. One is the most straightforward technique, okay? So that the, is the, since it's very easy, when the, uh, the crystal of the C12F7 is mixed with metal titanium, and, and it, uh, both are, are put into the uh, SR2 glass and pumped and sealed and heated up to uh, 100 degrees C. When uh, the temperature goes up, so the free oxygen ion is easily diffused uh, to the out diffused to the surface because the, uh, this O double minus is very bombard. So that the C12A7 is is a good oxygen ion conductor, okay? When uh, as, uh, as uh, titanium is heated, titanium vapor is deposited on the surface of the C12, uh, C12 S7. So that the uh, free oxygen ion is, is out of the field to the surface, and, so, and this oxygen ion is easily react with titanium to form a strong titanium oxygen bond. Okay, auction is it, it, it's, it's continuously it captured by titanium. Okay, and eventually, as all the auction ion uh, is uh, captured by titanium dioxide, uh, titanium, titanium. As a consequence, an electron is injected into the cages. Okay, if this chemical reaction exceeds uh, so by 100%, so we may expect the formation of the 2.3 times 10 to the 21st uh, is, uh, cubic centimeter and so anionic electron and so is injected, okay? Uh, this is really uh, possible, okay? This is a photograph of the sample. So the single crystal, so the, so the, the O double minus, and it's, oh, this is a stoichiometric C12 by 7 is almost a insulator, almost like a glass. Okay, when the electron is, and injected as a green color come out and deepening of the as a green color, so that gives a, almost a black color. Okay, as, okay, another, uh, it's a, a synthetic technique to uh, form electrolyte is a physical uh, way. So that this is recently, uh, no, no, three years ago, uh, uh, we found this, uh, this method. When uh, terahertz uh, it's, uh, radiation uh, is shined at the sample of the, uh, of the uh, C12A7 uh, and coated with the titanium, okay, terahertz light just corresponding to the large oscillation of the O double minus in a, in a cage. As a consequence, as uh, oxygen plasma is generated within a cage, okay? As a consequence, you can see that uh, it's a very white luminescence come out. Incident light is very, very short, a uh, very, very long wavelengths, okay? So that uh, up conversion of 10 to the four times, four times. So, uh, so as a consequence, O double, mi o double minus uh, ionized uh, to oxygen and electron, and oxygen uh, so atom is easy, easily escape from the cage, but small, uh, much smaller than O double minus, and captured uh, react with the titanium, and it 
as a consequence, since uh, the electron electrolyte is formed, this is a physical way. Okay. Okay. So when the uh, electron is injected, what happens? Well, uh, this is a conductivity data. So that uh, before uh, the injection of the, an electron, uh, electron uh, the conductivity is the, uh, room at room temperature is 10 to 10 to the minus 10. That's good insulator. Okay, when the electron is injected three times 10 to 19, so the conductivity goes up over 12 order of magnitude. When the electron concentration reaches at one times 10 to 21st, okay, the slope of, of the temperature the coefficient as the slope of, of the sign of the slope is changed from minus to plus. This means that the metal initiator transition occurs, okay? So the maximum conductivity we obtained in uh, it's uh, 1500, 1500 uh, Siemens centimeter minus one. Okay, this is almost like a ma manganese, metal manganese. Please remember, uh, this is an insulator, okay? Composed of the typical insulator, lime, CaO, and aluminum oxide. Okay, but the resulting material is a metal. Okay, when uh, this uh, sample, uh, the same film is obtained uh, uh, like this, uh, so the visible uh, region is high, still keep a uh, uh, high transparency. Okay, this is a, a new type of the uh, transparent conductive oxide. Okay, why such a, uh, it's a, it's a big uh, change occur? So the secret is, is the electric structures. Uh, this is a band, uh, band structure uh, calculated from the, uh, the crystal structure. Uh, the, the, this is very simple, okay? There are two valence bands and two conduction bands, okay? So the, the bottom one and top one is almost like a CAO, uh, typical insulator, no, no front, okay? So that the, these two, uh, this one, okay. This one and this one is totally unique to uh, C12S7. This band, uh, this band is the uh, oxygen to P of the free oxygen line in a cage. Okay, free oxygen line is loosely bounded. Okay, so 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 that the oxygen to P level of the uh, oxygen constituting uh, network is totally different, loosely bounded. This means that the two Oxygen to P level is 2 EV high. Okay, this means that we can uh, extract the free oxygen ion uh, from the cage without breaking the network structure. Okay, when the uh, uh, so oxygen minus ion and from the uh, from the cage, electron is should be injected. Where the position and uh, oxygen is injected, uh, electron injected, this this part. Okay, this band is a larger, it's a dispersed band with this is one EB. Okay, so the origin of the, uh, so this band is, uh, is pretty unique. The origin of the, uh, so, uh, this band is electron tunnel through the cage wall. Cage wall is a monolayer oxide. So the electron tunnel tunneling is easily occur. Okay, so that the, please case, uh, remember the case of the zero. Zero light is a positive charge, so they're impossible uh, to uh, capture, uh, to accommodate the electron. Only cation is incorporated, but this case is electron can be covered. And please uh, remember the case of the C60. C60 is an, an almost the same size, but uh, C60 is an isolated cages. Okay, almost uh, C60 is almost a Western style cottage. C, C12 is, uh, S7 is almost a Japanese style ryokan. Huge tatami room is separated by very thin wall. So that's why electron can uh, through the cage wall. As a consequence, uh, the large dispersed the band appear. Okay, and also the location of the this band is much lower than, uh, than the, um, the co conventional conduction band like a CAO. That's why we can inject, uh, we can dope an electron in this band. Uh, 
we call the cage conduction by CCP. This is the secret of the dissonance. Okay, so the, the C, that is a computation, but we uh, so verify the presence of the cage conduction band by experiment. Okay, uh, this is hard X-ray. Hard X-ray is mean that the conventional compared with uh, as, uh, a lab as, uh, conventional uh, XPS, the incident energy is is large. So this means that the high sensitivity to the S electron. S electron there is almost no sensitivity uh, uh, to the conventional uh, the UPS or the XPS. But the hard X-ray uh, is sensitive to the S electron and bulk sensitive. Uh, uh, this is pretty good to check the uh, presence of the cage conduction band. Okay, this is a hard X-ray. As you can see that uh, this is a balance, okay. Uh, this is a okay. uh, this is a balance band. This is a conduction band and so it's probed by inverse photo emission. Okay, so the preach of focus here. So that we can see that the Fermi, Fermi H. This is the occupied cage conduction band. Okay, so that the, the, of course uh, this uh, cage conduction band can be reproduced by band calculation. When the, the electron, uh, this is a, an enlarged figure of the, uh, the dust along the frame level. Uh, when the cage con uh, electron uh, electron concentration is low, uh, uh, not so clear. But when the, the carrier concentration goes up, we can see that the Fermi H uh, location of the Fermi H along here. Okay, so that the uh, CCB is absolutely present in electro and C12 S7 electrolyte. Okay, so that uh, uh, the next focus is the metal insulator transition. Okay, it's a metal insulator transition uh, uh, has a long history. Uh, it, so that the, uh, this biograph is a famous one. This uh, alternate is uh, uh, donor orbital radius. Donor orbital radius means that uh, when the electron is doped, when the ele electron make a hydrogen, hydrogen like and so orbital. Okay, so the so abscissa uh, is a, uh, it's a carrier concentration logarithm. Okay, so that all the data reported uh, so, so far is uh, followed on uh, this line. Okay, C12 by 7 is also uh, followed on uh, this line. Okay, so that uh, so according to the MOT, uh, so MOT criterion, so that uh, ND and uh, 1 over 3 and so, uh, of donor orbital, uh, critical or uh, orbital radius. The product should be a uh, uh, point point two five, okay? Point two five is uh, almost uh, at cage size of the C twelve S seven. This means that uh, as uh, electron accumulated cage population of the electron accumulated cage uh, is a critical concentration of the metal initiator transition. Very simple. Okay, so why the uh, C12S7 can be converted into uh, as uh, metals? A large concentration of the carrier can be doped. This is very, very strange, looks very strange. Okay, so the uh, so CAO or other and uh, typical trans, uh, so representative oxide uh, so with band gap, uh, large band gap is, uh, of course, insulate. Alumina is typical insulate, SRO2 is also. But why the c 12 s 7 can be converted into a semiconductor? So the, this is a band, band lineup. Uh, at band lineup, I'll show the, the, the detail explained in a semiconductor session. Okay, doping range is here. Okay, so the, the, we consider the just of electron doping here. So that the, when uh, uh, the location of the uh, so conduction band minimum, and so measured from uh, vacuum level, so that electron affinity. When the electron affinity is goes down, electron is doped electron is stabilized. Okay, so the limit of the uh, so, uh, electron doping in the current level is look is here. Okay, so the CAO is almost impossible, too high. 
to the off electron. Okay, but the C12A7 cases, uh, due to the presence of the cage conduction band, so that uh, I, it's, uh, electron affinity is, is pretty, pretty close to the doping limit. That's why uh, electron can be doped. Okay, so that's the geometrical, uh, the geometry uh, of the network structure and the charge of the network structure are very critical to dope an electron. Okay, so when uh, uh, some metallic conducting uh, so electrolyte is screwed down, what happens? Superconductivity come out. Okay, so the, yeah, TC is, is very low, uh, I'm sorry, but anyway, it's, uh, uh, the, uh, this is a, uh, is a bulk superconductivity uh, uh, due to uh, its uh, S-type electron, okay? So th this is bulk superconductivity. So that when we uh, reported the uh, uh, superconductivity of the C12A7 electrolyte, uh, quite in, quite in, uh, I, uh, we exp experienced a quite interesting story on, the, on this. Okay, uh, so almost the same time uh, of our, our report, it's a heavily doped boron, uh, heavily boron doped silicon becomes superconduct. At the time, uh, bubble cover and uh, it lot was brief uh, new sun view in the nature, super silicon. And uh, in this article, uh, he uh, introduced a brief history of the superconductivity. And so the, a variety of material uh, have been converted in, into the super con, uh, superconductor. And at this time, it's, uh, the silicon uh, could uh, convert it into a, a superconductors. But uh, he closed this uh, brief uh, news and view by writing uh, this sentence. If that the superconductivity is made by doping a concrete, I will, it's time for me to retire, okay? But a bubble is still fine, still very active. But anyway, it's a superconducting cement is almost uh, uh, beyond our imagination. Okay, so the why and uh, it's C12S7 uh, electrolyte uh, uh, show the superconductivities. Uh, we uh, notice uh, uh, similarity between the high pressure phase of the alkali metal and the C12S7. Uh, this is a BCC, uh, so this is a case of the metal lithium. So the ambient pressure phase is a BCC, okay? Almost uh, an, it's a free electron like band is appears. And the high pressure phase is, is totally different. Okay, so that the electron is ionized from the lithium and electron occupied the interstitial position like this. So the electron band is separated from the, uh, the core of the lithium so that the, and the crystal structure is totally different. So that this uh, as, as space group is pre almost the same as C12S7. So the band structure is pretty, uh, close to the C12S7. This means that uh, C12S7 has a similar structure uh, uh, to the uh, high pressure phase of the, uh, of the lithium superconducting phases. So what we did is just uh, inject the electron to the cages. That's why uh, superconductivity come, up, come out. Okay. So the next uh, is a high temperature melt, amorphous c 12 7 electrolyte. Okay, when a c 12 7 metal is heated at, uh, at high temperature, what happens? Of course, it's a, it's a oxygen, a low pressure oxygen is needed, but uh, under such a, uh, a well-controlled partial oxygen pressure, uh, when a C12A7 electrolyte, crystalline C12A7 electrolyte is got, uh, heated up, what happens? Okay, this is a picture of the C12A7. Okay, so the, yeah, the temperature is so high, 
this is a molten state, almost uh, uh, 600 1600 degrees C. So the conventional stoichiometric uh, C12 by 7 is uh, almost uh, transparent. Okay, this, this picture, please. Uh, we uh, inserted the thermocouple to the side. We can see that the, uh, the thermocouple, but uh, uh, C12 by 7 melt. So that we, when uh, the uh, some couple is inserted, we cannot see. That just means that the uh, smelt is strongly colored. Okay, uh, this is the conductivity data. So that uh, when the temperature goes up, as the conductivity is going down, almost like a metal, and when the, the temperature is reached to the melting temperature, 1250. Okay, this will change, but the slope doesn't change. Slope doesn't change. This means that the, even the molten state, high temperature state, liquid at melt, melting state shows that the metallic conductivity. Well, or, or we may supply, oh, this is a, a, a more liquid metal, high temperature liquid metal. Okay, uh, this is totally different from the conventional uh, stoichiometric C12 as a, a seven crystal. So that this case is that, uh, and when the temperature goes up, so ion conduction of the calcium is observed. So the, okay, nothing particular. But this case is molten state is metal. Okay, so the, when the molten state, the liquid molten state is the liquid metal, so the molten state is quenched. What happens? Okay, so we can get the grass. Okay. But uh, it's uh, glass is strongly colored. Okay, this is uh, calcium, CaO, and aluminum oxide, and electron. Oh, it looks black. Okay, so that uh, and electron uh, concentration doesn't change between uh, uh, and so upon melting. So that abscissa uh, and uh, uh, the ordinate is uh, uh, electron concentration in the static material, and abscissa is uh, electron concentration in the resulting glasses. Okay, almost one to one. Electron uh, still remain even in the glass. Okay, but uh, uh, conductivity uh, is totally different. So, molten state is a metal, and the quenched state is a semiconductor. Okay, largely different. Okay, that's the uh, most striking uh, difference in uh, electrolyte glass as conventional glass is the TG, glass transition temperature. Glass transition temperature of the conventional glass is uh, 8060. 8060, this is well known. But uh, electrolyte glass is uh, 700 degrees C. Over 150 uh, degrees C is it is lowered. Oh, very surprised, very surprised. Okay, only difference is just 3% of the oxygen is replaced by electron. Okay, so the TG is it's largely reduced. Okay, this is a template, uh, it's a conventional and uh, as TG, TG as a function of the chemical, chemical component. So the, when the, as the calcium content is changed from 68, 80, or 48 to the 72, so that the TG the difference then is only a, a 30 percent, uh, only a, a 70 degrees C. But when a 3 percent of the oxygen is reduced by uh, replaced by electron, uh, three times uh, larger as uh, TG drop is observed. Okay, effect of the so the small amount of the unknown electron controls the bulk TG. Well, I'm very surprised. Okay, uh, we uh, simulated the, and the glass and the molten uh, uh, molten uh, state structure uh, by the initial molecular dynamic simulation. So the, in a molten state, what, what the, uh, the grassy state, so that, uh, yeah, electron uh, uh, so is occupied by uh, two kg is, uh, is merged uh, to form uh, as uh, electron pair. 
Okay, uh, it, this is a little bit uh, complex, but anyway, it's a uh, IP initial molecular dynamic simulation, uh, they, pr they produce uh, TG deduction. Okay, TG, the simulated uh, the temperature is like this, at the, almost 100 degrees C, as uh, TG dropped uh, is reproduced. Okay, why such a thing happens? Okay, as, uh, uh, this is grass structure, uh, so the TG uh, is determined by uh, as a chemically weak point like this. Okay, so that uh, of the calcium part, but uh, compared with the calcium, as, uh, and the electron is much more mobile. So the when uh, the network structure uh, temperature is going down, network uh, structure is freeze, but still uh, calcium part is is, uh, is moved. Uh, but uh, as uh, electron is more mobile than the ion, that's why the grass transition temperature is much reduced. So that's a uh, yeah heroic law of the ionic electron on the grass transition temperature. Okay, as the, as the next is a, a new type of electron. So the C12 by 7 is a, a, the electron, an electron is confined in a zero dimensional cages. So the, we call the zero dimensional cages, zero dimensional material. So the one dimensional material uh, as the confinement is occurred in the upper tight structure. Well, Chan electron uh, is uh, encapsulated in a Chan. So two dimensional is like this. Ca2n is, is a is a very clear example. So that uh, calcium two calcium two n plus. Okay, and is calcium is two plus. So that the positive ion is a four and nitrogen is three minus. So the one electron um, is uh, located the interlayer, cationic layer, okay? So this is the bar crystal. Uh, and Y2C is also the two-dimensional. So that, uh, yeah, one-dimensional, one, dimensional, one two dimensional so the two-dimensional, uh, we already reported so many uh, variety of the uh, one-dimensional and the two-dimensional electrolyte. Okay, and I'll show that the example of the one-dimensional electrolyte, Ethereum 5 SB3, okay? <clears throat> So the, the, the yttrium, the chemical uh, so state of the yttrium is a two plus, okay? So that the electron, the one electron is located uh, in a channel or like this. So the, so the, 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 this uh, it's a one dimensional electrolyte is a multi insulating multi insulating and it's a spin is localized. So the spin moment is one half uh, the calculated and observed one is uh, uh, agree as uh, on the model of the spin equal one half. So the uh, one dimensional electrolyte is, is uh, insulated, not insulated. Okay, two dimensional electrolyte in, in, is totally different. Two cationic layer, uh, the electron layer is sandwiched by a cationic layer. Okay, so they're almost like uh, how the, and so, Bulk form of the two day. Two day is formed in the interface, a header interface between uh, two different uh, two semiconductors. Okay, on the interface. This is bulk. Okay, so the for the, I'll show that the, this material. So the typical uh, example is the CA2N we reported in uh, 2012, or maybe 2012. So that, uh, yeah, this material is quite, so the Electrolyte cases, uh, one, zero dimensional uh, electrolyte cases, confinement of the electrolyte, electron is a four Armstrong cages, diameter is a four Armstrong. James, uh, James dies as the organic electrolyte is also the four Armstrong. So the three to five Armstrong uh, the confinement size is pretty good to get the electrolyte. This is my guess. So that uh, we, uh, Explore that uh, uh, by using such a uh, by adapting such a uh, its, its confinement size and its positively charged as uh, as a slab layer, so that uh, we found that this material calcium twin uh, calcium twin and is very is 
a simple structure. So the cation Ca two N plus, uh, yeah, two electron is sandwiched by a calcium two N layer. Okay, so the optical material of the, the uh, this material is like this. Okay, blue, so that you, you can see that uh, it's a plasma oscillation. And it's uh, an important thing is, is the uh, electron mobility is so high and conductivity is also very high. Okay, this is due to the, uh, the no impurity scatter. So the, Okay, that, that, this is bulk form uh, and comparison between uh, C12, uh, uh, sorry, uh, the two dimensional electrolyte and the two D, two deg material. And so gallium arsenide and aluminum gas, aluminum as gallium arsenide and LAO, STO, graphene and the CA2N. Okay, but uh, the, uh, the different thing, the thing is the CA2N is a bulk material. Okay, of course, uh, 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 we can uh, X5 the monolayer, but the monolayer is not so interesting. And it's bulky and it is much more easy to do. Okay, so that uh, we uh, check the uh, candidate material uh, by using a uh, computational method and so on. Uh, as uh, computational method and uh, 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 using a uh, database, and I found we found that the series of the uh, uh, candidate material. Okay, and uh, uh, white to see white to see is uh, one of the material uh, we picked up. Okay, and we synthesized this single crystal and uh, check the its uh, electronic structure uh, by ARPES. So the ARPES data as uh, agree with the calculated bundle structures. So this means that the anionic electron is certainly populated, sandwiched in the uh, interlayer of the, this material. Okay, and as a two-dimensional electrolyte uh, will be a, a good platform for topological material because that's an electron and yeah, in the confinement, uh, confined in a layer, and it's mixed with uh, its, uh, other orbital uh, of the so atoms uh, constituting uh, its uh, slab layer, yeah, as a consequence, and uh, its topological uh, material uh, is, 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 is tend to be formed. So, that, uh, yeah, uh, 2018 and is a, a three uh, papers are reported on. Uh, it's uh, almost the same meaning, topological electrolyte. So the Bakasak sum, Kawasak sum, are you? Eh? Ne? Hello? Oh, I'm going to go to the house. Eh? Uh, today it is supposed to be like uh, 90 minutes. Okay, so 90 minutes. We have oh, 20 okay. minutes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. My. Oh. Okay. So the, okay. So, so uh, until the uh, so seven o'clock. Okay. Uh, I continue. Uh, sorry. Uh, I I did, did the mistake. Okay. So. That, uh, So that here, as I show that that as a, a transformation of the, uh, the electrolyte and among electrolyte with a different as a dimensionality. So, so that the high pressure uh, experiment. The, okay, uh, as the two when the high pressure was applied to dimensional electrolyte and the so nature of the uh, and electrolyte is easily changed on either show. Okay, uh, so th this is a, a, a diamond ambu cell experiment. Uh, when the temperature uh, high pressure is applied, easily change the, uh, the conductivity and also the uh, crystal structure. So the summary is here. Okay, and so 
uh, Ca two N and and it's a two dimensional electrolyte. So it's up to uh, it's seven gigapascal uh, two dimensional electrolyte in a structure is uh, remained. And so after that, it's changed from the one dimensional electrolyte. So the electron is confined in a ch in a channel. Okay, so the material is changed from the metal to the semiconductor. And after that, so that the chain transformed to the zero dimensional electrolyte. Zero dimensional electrolyte also the semiconductors. Okay, so that the, when the high pressure is applied, it's a, confi it's a space, confinement, confined space for electron is changed for two dimensional, one dimensional, and eventually. Uh, one dimension, uh, zero dimension. Uh, such a case is, is totally different from the conventional and it's, uh, it's a conventional semiconductor. So the, the com conventional semiconductor cases uh, when the uh, temperature, uh, the high pressure is applied, so the chain converted into a metal. This is a completely opposite. So the from metal to the insulators. Okay, so the, the, the last one is uh, uh, properties. Property and, and uh, applications. Unique property of the C12S7 is, uh, is a small work function, okay? Work function of the C12S7 electrolyte is a 2.4. 2.4 is almost close to that of the metal potassium, a metal, metal potassium, okay? But, uh, as you know, that the metal potassium is chemically so active, okay? So that the, in, this is maybe the general rule. Low work function metal is chemically so active. That's why and so alkali metal cannot be used, uh, practically used as an electric material. But the C12S7 electrolyte uh, case is exception. This is uh, chemically and thermally stable. We can touch by hand, no problem. To totally different from others. Okay, so uh, we, it's, uh, my guess was uh, to apply this material as a catalyst. Okay, uh, but uh, when a C12 is having electrolyte, a single crystal is mechanically broken in a high vacuum chamber sample surface become insulated, okay? Uh, very, very simple reason. c 12 7 case is a three-dimensional cage, mater uh, cage material, no clear cleavage surface. So that the mechanical uh, breaking means that the rupture of the nanostructure cages. When the uh, cage is ruptures, as confinement electron is escaped uh, from the cages. That's why and the surface become insulated. Okay, so that, uh, yeah, the way, so that we, but uh, we have to uh, need uh, as bulk property, uh, almost a bulk like property uh, for the surface for, uh, for applications. So uh, we, determined to check, uh, examine the surface structure of the C12S7 electrolyte by uh, scanning tunneling microscope. Okay, so that uh, when uh, the, the, the single crystal of the C12S7 electrolyte is broken uh, in, in a, a UHV chamber to observe the, uh, the surface, so the sample become, uh, sample surface become insulating, so they are impossible to uh, observe the atomi atomistic image. So uh, we carefully uh, choose the condition of the surface reconstruction by heating the sample in a UHV chamber. As a consequence, uh, we uh, found that the, uh, the condition of the surface reconstruction that is to say, when the temperature is goes up to uh, 900 degrees C, uh, the, such a uh, the atomic uh, uh, dissolved as uh, image was as uh, reproducibly obtained. 
Uh, this image in, and it's just corresponding to the uh, surface uh, cage preserved structure. Cage preserved structure means that uh, and, uh, when the uh, uh, sample was uh, deheated in appropriate temperature, so that the broken cage is restored to the, uh, the original uh, cages. So the sample becomes and metallic conducting and work function is very low. Okay, the, so uh, we determined to uh, apply this material uh, to the catalytic appli ap uh, applications. Okay, the target uh, of the application was uh, was two. One is, uh, uh, of course, uh, one is ammonia synthesis, one, one is uh, CO2 activation. But here we, I'll talk on uh, and that's ammonia synthesis. Okay, ammonia is a, is a key material so that uh, for, for a fertilizer, uh, because it's a, it's a nitrogen molecule in the air, uh, we cannot uh, use a, a nitrogen molecule because the nitrogen nitrogen triple bond is too strong to, to dissociate. Okay, the human being cannot uh, use a, a nitrogen gas. Or the living thing, even the plants. Okay, so that uh, but uh, nitrogen in, is one of the uh, essential element uh, to live. So nitrogen, phosphorus, and uh, potassium. So the nitrogen source uh, uh, is ammonia. Okay, almost hundred hundred years ago, and so Harbour Bosch and uh, so. Uh, Harvard and was a, a professor of the of the uh, so German German and Bosch uh, was an engineer uh, of the now the now now the Bosch uh, now BASF. They invented the uh, so chemical process uh, to synthesize ammonia uh, from the hydrogen and nitrogen. Okay, and so. Uh, this is a chemical reaction. Nitrogen and hydrogen, they combine uh, with uh, each other to form uh, ammonia. Okay, so that, uh, yeah, high temperature and high pressure are needed. So the catalyst was the iron, it's iron oxide. Okay, and so this is very, very, uh, the most important chemical reaction uh, in the world uh, due to the as uh, mass production of the ammonia, so that the human being uh, can su survive until now. But as, uh, okay, okay as, uh, this biography is quite interesting. Uh, this is the world population and um, versus year. Uh, 1911 is uh, it's, uh, mass production started. Uh, the harbor wash uh, process was established in this year. After that, human being, uh, world population is rapidly going up. So the, nowadays, uh, three, two out of three uh, human beings uh, depend on, on uh, as harbor wash and uh, nitrogen. Okay, so that, uh, but the Harbour Bosch process is very, very, very it's, uh, excellent process. But uh, now with the new as uh, demand and and uh, that is to say, and the hydrogen and the economy is very important. When the hydrogen uh, and is produced in, in many industry, so that we want to uh, synthesize ammonia on site. Okay, so the low. Uh, low temperature and especially the low uh, pressure synthesis is, is absolutely needed. Okay, so that the, the key sh should be a new catalyst. Okay, uh, th this is ammonia synthesis. So that uh, it's most uh, it's, uh, it's uh, highest obstacle in the ammonia synthesis is uh, how to dissociate the strong nitrogen-nitrogen triple bond. Okay, my guess is very simple. When the uh, uh, electron is put into the anti-bonding orbital of the nitrogen as uh, molecule, so the 
nitrogen, nitrogen triple bond should be uh, it's much, much weaker. Okay, so that the uh, uh, important parameter is the low work function. Okay, so that the, but the low work, work function as a material is a, like, is a typical one is alkyl metal. Alkyl metal uh, easily react with a nitrogen molecule to form a alkali nitride. Nitrogen nitrogen bond is formed, but stable nitride compound is formed, doesn't work as a catalyst. So that the catalysts uh, need to satisfy the two apparently as, uh, incompatible as uh, requirements. That is to say, low work function, but chemically not. Such a material is not so, not so many. So that uh, my as guess is to utilize a C12S7 left. Okay, uh, we as the uh, lucenium nanoparticle on the surface of the C12S7 and examined uh, as uh, ammonia synthesis. Okay, so that uh, uh, the detail is not so important. Important thing is the and the Catalytic activity is 10 times higher than the previous one. And activation energy is reduced almost half. Okay, pretty promising. Okay, and another important point is as pressure dependence. So the liquid ammonia it can be liquefied and at room temperature at 10 atoms. So the liquid ammonia is pretty important uh, to, to get ammonia because it's, uh, yeah, as gas is, is a huge volume, but a, a liquid is a small volume. So that uh, to get ammonia in a liquid uh, form is very important. So that's, uh, that's, that's why the huge, so high as uh, pressure pressure uh, is very dangerous and very as uh, costly, but uh, 10 atoms is needed. So that's why, and so we check the and so pressure dependence. So the conventional uh, lucenium catalyst, so the al almost almost saturated, okay. So the pressure de dependence almost zero. So the but the C twelve A seven cases and uh, doesn't saturate. So the, this is pretty good. That's why and so a C twelve A seven electrolyte workers are uh, pretty good. Okay, uh, the, this is a, a, an energy diagram. So the conventional compared with uh, it's, it's conventional lucenium catalyst, so the activation energy is half. So the activation energy of the conventional as a, a catalyst is a late determination step is a, a dissociation of the nitrogen, nitrogen, nitrogen triple bond. On the, on the other hand, and as electrolyte catalyst, it's a, Dissociation of the nitrogen nitrogen triple bond is not a, is not important. NH formation as a process become as a late determination step. So the, the, this is very very important. So the, now we can easily dissociate the nitrogen nitrogen bond by using a, a C12 an electrolyte catalyst. Okay, so I'll show the demonstration of the ammonia synthesis. So the, okay, this is a nitrogen and this is a hydrogen. This is a furnace, uh, furnace temperature is 350. And it's uh, and both the gas uh, the flow to the, the, this furnace. So the uh, catalyst is here. When the ammonia is, is Synthesized, so the ammonia is put here. So the yeah, ammonia become an alkali. So the, as a consequence, so the phenylalanine should be become lead. I I'll show that the movies. Okay, ammonia concentration of the. This, uh, this condition is one person. Okay, so the what, why what is the case to here? So this, uh, this is to show that this is not a fast fight.
Okay. Okay, so the essence of the uh, electrolyte catalyst is the low work function, strong electron do uh, donating power of the electron to the, uh, the metal, and also the electron is easy it's a proper it's a dissociated hydrogen on the surface of the ruthenium and as a consequence and hydrogen and poisoning doesn't occur okay so that's uh, yeah a little bit uh, so th this is complicated but anyway and so this is the, just outline and so we started the, as uh, Catalyst for the C12 and electrolyte catalyst uh, using a C12 S7 in the 19, uh, 2011. And after that, the mechanism of the clarified, and the next uh, next is the uh, catalyst reaction only occurred on the surface, so that the only surface region uh, is needed uh, enough uh, uh, to uh, make a catalyst. Uh, surface electrolyte is cat uh, is okay. So the uh, surface catalyst, and eventually uh, the, uh, to uh, intermetallic catalyst. So that uh, yeah, uh, we are now at the reaching uh, these phases. Uh, ruthenium is not really. So the, uh, this case is this is 19 and so, uh, this is uh, 20, uh, three years ago. Uh, this case it uh, only need a co cobalt. So the it's, uh, the day after the day after tomorrow uh, is. Uh, our paper uh, uh, will be deported. Uh, so that paper is focused on just a nickel. nickel, nickel. Metal, uh, precious metal is not needed. So that we, we totally uh, change the mechanism of the ammonia synthesis. And the traditional mechanism is not so uh, important uh, for our new mechanism. Okay, uh, so the, this is, is uh, intermetallic electrolyte. So the electrolyte concept in, is applied uh, to the ionic compound, the plus and minus, and uh, is pretty important. Okay, but uh, what is the essence of the electrolyte? My guess is not, uh, of course, the charge is important, but clear plus was clear, clear minus is not needed. So that uh, my guess is the important essence of the Electrolyte concept is an intrinsic void in a crystal structure. That's why and so we as a constant, uh, we focus on the intermetallic compound. Intermetallic is a metal, uh, the composer of the metal or the uh, semi-metal. Okay, uh, we carefully uh, examine, uh, examine the uh, intermetallic compound in which Void, crystalline void, an uh, uh, crystal graphical void is included in a crystal structure. Uh, this is an example of la, uh, lanthanum as uh, lucenium silicon. Okay, so that uh, yeah, this is uh, the electron density map of the material. So the void, uh, void is located here, and as uh, electron density is also uh, located in a void. Okay, so that the void, crystallographic void surrounded by delta plus metal is enough to be an electron. Okay, so the, uh, the next is the, what, so such an intermetallic electron uh, is very important for, um, as an ammonia catalyst. Okay, so the, this material, calcium lucenium silicon, uh, Lanthanum, lucenium, silicon, both compounds is the same crystal structure. Okay, but uh, as uh, uh, electron, uh, so the count is, is one one electron count is less. Uh, okay, for the calcium cases, so that the electron is not uh, an ionic electron. It's located in a bulb. Okay, uh, you can see. Okay, so so that this is a uh, comparison between. Uh, as uh, lanthanum lucenium silicon and uh, calcium lucenium silicon. So that the uh, uh, catalytic uh, activities, catalytic activity of the, of the electrolyte is work very, very high. So that the non-electrolyte uh, doesn't work. 
Okay, that's why even in uh, uh, in Tamitari, electrolyte concept is a key uh, for the application as a catalyst. Okay, so the Hosono sensei, oh. this is Kawasaki. Oh, so your time is supposed to be like 90 minutes, and you okay, need like 15 minutes, so probably uh, additional 10 minutes or so. No, 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 no almost okay. end. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. This is the last paragraph of yeah, this talk. Okay. Yeah, this is a, a, a final a, a view graph. So that uh, okay. Now ammonia is pretty important, and the hydrogen and uh, hydrogen economy become uh, very very important, especially in, uh, in advanced countries. Uh, okay. The hydrogen and uh, is more important than. Uh, the oil in future, okay? So the ammonia and uh, 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 play uh, as an uh, energy carrier in addition to uh, fertilizer. So that, uh, yeah, so the now uh, energy is uh, renewable energy like a solar, uh, solar power or wind power are uh, everywhere. So the generated electron, uh, generated power is used to electrolyze uh, as uh, water and resulting hydrogen gas, react with uh, nitrogen from air uh, to combine uh, and uh, to combine and uh, form uh, ammonia and onsite. Okay, so onsite synthesis is absolutely needed. That's why and the uh, huge uh, the plant is not needed. It's low pressure and uh, low temperature and small plant is, is much more favorable for this application. Okay, our target is here. Now, uh, this is the uh, concentration of the output ammonia, and this is the temperature and pressure. So how the wash process is, is operated at uh, this region, uh, 200, 200 atoms and uh, 200 uh, atmosphere, and the 45 was 50 degrees C. So the, we want to realize that almost the same concentration of the harbor washer process and 20% uh, at low temperature 250 and 10 atoms. So the, now our uh, process is almost close to the this goal. Okay, yeah, in, in, a, in a couple of uh, years, and so our process will be uh, moved to the industry. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much, Hosono Sensei. Uh, you sh you presented a very nice catalyst to make a nice ammonia, and the, I don't see any question in chat. Uh, if uh, the audience doesn't have a specific question right now or today, I want to close, and the Hosono Sensei will give another talk on Wednesday. So, is there any question? Okay, so as scheduled, uh, the first lecture is supposed to be 90 minutes, and the uh, really, uh, second uh, one is uh, 75 minutes plus 45 minutes Q and A. Uh, Masashi. Yes. Th there is a question on the chat. Oh, oh yeah, it comes. So the Hosono Sensei question is uh, appeared. Question has appeared in Zoom uh, chat. Is it possible okay. to draw same films of electrolyze? Same film? Same films of electrolyze compound. Yeah. 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 So the possible, of course. Yeah. It's possible. Same film, of, same film of the electrolyze is possible. Mm -hmm. But the substrate uh, <laughs> is not so easy. Mm. So the magnesium oxide. Mm. But uh, not the texture. I see. Not 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 extraction. Mm -hmm. Poly polycrystal. Polycrystal. Yeah. Okay. He says thank you. Is there any question? <laughs> I'm watching a uh, chat. So on Wednesday, 
uh, you can just uh, type your question on chat so that uh, I can go through before the end of uh, Hosono's lecture and the, I can just uh, no, uh, point each of you. Okay, so the on Wednesday, I, I'll skip the semiconductor. Semiconductor, uh, the work is a little bit old. So that uh, uh, I'll focus on the ion tested superconductor. Superconductivity, okay. Yeah. All right, is there any more questions? Okay, then if not, let's thank uh, Professor Osono. Thank you very much. Thank you. So see you Wednesday. <laughs>